My name is Annika Carter and this is my 2014 Mustang V6 GLTC build. My name is Annika Carter. I'm a race car driver. The story of how I got into racing is a little bit of a funny one. I did not grow up a car person. I do not have parents who are car people. My parents offered to get me a car when I went to school in state and I didn't want something boring. So long story short, because it is definitely a long story, ended up with a Mustang. And I didn't want my Mustang to be like everyone else's on the road, so I started modifying it. And that's how I first got into the car scene, was just through modifying my own car. Um, started with lowering springs and about a year in, I got coilovers. I have a bunch of friends who work at Road Atlanta and they started uh, telling me that I couldn't put coilovers on my car and not take it to Road Atlanta. So I did and it was best day of my life and I just decided that that was what I wanted to do. We always joke, you, you catch the bug, you know, it's like it bites you and then you dive in head first. My aunt found my Instagram and she was on the phone with my mom and was like, well, how do you feel about Annika racing? Like, that's kind of dangerous. And my mom like just had to pretend like she knew what was going on. And then she called me and was like, what the f Yeah. Yep. My dad thinks it's cool though. He rides with me. My mom won't even watch me go by. Like she, she's watched me race once and every time I came by, she had to look away. So originally I wanted a Scion FRS. I wanted something that looked really sporty. And when I first started looking for cars, my dad said, no Mustangs, no Camaros. So I was looking for a Scion FRS. We looked at a bunch of them. I found so many online, but like they all were kind of eh, because people like to take those cars and, you know, do donuts with them and stuff like that. And so the ones that we were looking at, like we saw one with like 10,000 miles that had bald tires and just, they were all kind of rough around the edges. We found one that was nice. And then my parents just, they thought it was too small. They were, you know, worried about my safety. So I wanted something sporty. I wanted something that seemed sporty and I needed something bigger than an FRS. So I somehow convinced my dad on a Mustang and came home one day and that, there was that car sitting at their house. It is a 2014 V6 Mustang and ready for everyone to start screaming. When I got it, it was an automatic. It was a automatic V6 Mustang and everyone hates those. And yes, that was my first track car too. And I drove it on track for a year before I got the Miata. They're not as terrible as everyone says. Yes, I swapped the transmission to a manual and I like it so much better now that it is a manual. But you know, when I first got the car, I really wanted to V8 swap it. And then when I started getting into racing and I got comfortable with the car on track, I would not change that engine for anything. It's you know not a perfectly balanced car, but it's much better balanced than the V8. Um, if I wanted more power, I'd go supercharger or turbo, not V8. So I'm not an adrenaline junkie, so I can't say that I enjoy it for the adrenaline because that would be a lie. It's taken me a long time to get to the point where I'm comfortable going as fast as I do. Um, definitely, you know, racing was pushing my comfort zone, but you know, I'm a very anxious person and I'm all, I've always been really busy. And it's that one time when I can go out there and all that matters is me, the car and the track. I mean, my absolute worst day would have been the first time that I wrecked my car. Um, it was at Road Atlanta, turn one, went off into a wall, wrapped the tire wall around my car, had to red flag the race because they didn't see me. Um, had to get, you know, helped out of my car, car towed back in. And of course I was fine, but I was like, my car, is my car okay? Can I fix my car? And it's wrecked again. So, you know, I've gotten used to wrecking it now. <laughs> so I will be racing this car this year in the Gridlife Touring Cup or GLTC series. Also her name is Sterling, if you were wondering. Um, GMG Automotive has done the majority of the work on this car. Everything that he did not do, I did myself because I'm cheap. <laughs> we'll start from the front, work our way back. I'll show you guys what we have. So we did remove the headlights on this car. We've installed some brighter Delta lights in the grill and we got a couple more that are gonna be going in the bumper for the night races that we do. I also put in some fun LEDs because why not? I have a Nine Lives racing splitter right here. 
This is mounted to the frame, four places in the front with these adjusters. We got steel rods because I needed to add weight. Running back, adding extra adjustment, mounted to the frame in the back as well to the lower radiator support. Under the hood, everything's about stock. So this car is 90, well, actually no, it's all bolt-ons and I mean the, the drivetrain's 98% stock. Um, obviously I've got a bigger intake, got a bigger throttle body, and um, George with GMG built me custom exhaust. Well, we actually have our long tube headers running to a collector into a three inch center exit single pipe all the way back. And we get around to the back of the car, I'll show you, we actually put a Focus ST tip on the car to keep it within the Ford family. Obviously cut the hood, put in some hood vents for cooling. I run stage wheels, these are 18, inch stage nights. I also run their Belmonts as well, both in black chrome because it's awesome. I have a six piston big brake kit with 14 inch rotors and I run G-Lock pads. I've got the R16s up front and the R8s in the back. I have the GT500 caliper brackets that I'm able to mount a 14 inch rotor in the back as well. And like I said, I've got the um, G-Lock R8s in the back and I do have an upgraded rear caliper. I have a custom built cage by Top Garage Fabrication. I'm biased, but I am in love with this cage. I think it is the most beautiful cage ever. Pretty simple inside. I mean, we got the race seat, we got the, the nets and all that. And if any of you are into Rick and Morty, there's a Rick and Morty shift knob. Out back here, giant Nine Lives Racing Wing. Love this thing so much. It's my baby. Can I give it a hug? Um, we did cut out the trunk. I can show you guys here. So we did cut out the inner liner of the trunk and we actually cut a hole right here across the deck lid. And what this does is it allows the air that gets into the car to escape, keeps it from creating a high pressure air inside the car that would slow me down a little bit on those straights. We elected to not actually run a frame mounted wing because I like my car to be semi waterproof. So what we did instead is we've got these mounts here that are mounted to the frame. They hit, as you can see from the chipping paint directly on the trunk. So all of the force from that wing is transferred down into these, down into the frame of the car, it makes the wing more effective. You'll see, got that uh, Focus ST tip. Also for, you know, performance wise, you guys can't really see it. I do run a, a spec clutch. Um, it's completely, or it's a custom clutch actually. I semi-custom, I guess I should say. So you uh, fill out a form, tell them what you want, and they send you a clutch that is best for your application. And I am in love with the clutch in my car. It's so grabby, it's so amazing. Um, underneath the car that you also can't see, I do have an aluminum one-piece drive shaft. I've got 373 gears in the back and I have a Torsen differential. We also installed a Watts link in the rear to help keep the, the rear more settled under cornering. And I have um, Steeda coilovers on the car. And of course, the best part of the whole car, this livery was designed by Idle Hands Design. And I actually laid the vinyl myself. It's far from perfect, but I'm obsessed with the design that he came up with. She definitely, definitely stands out on track. My dream race would be Petit Le Mans. Either, you know, if, if I'm running the physical Petit Le Mans or if I'm running one of, you know, those races that they, the satellite races they have before it. Um, because before I got really into racing, I went to Petit Le Mans and like I was just a spectator. And now I've gone back since I've gotten into racing. And it's just such a experience, especially as a racer to see that and aspire to that. It's such an experience to be there and to actually see it. So because I've kind of, I don't want to say grown up because I've only been in Gainesville for about three or four years, but, um, because, you know, my, my racing career has grown up around Petit Le Mans. Um, it's definitely my dream to be out there and get to race that event. A lot of people think that getting into racing, be it wheel to wheel or time attack, or even if you just want to track drive, a lot of people think that it's a lot harder than it is. It's not hard. 
just don't be afraid to try and don't be afraid to reach out to people for help. I can say, at least for myself, that I always love helping people who are trying to get into it because I love sharing this sport with other people. We want everyone to get involved in it. We're not trying to, to keep you out. We want you to come, come join us.